Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to Life on Board Amy Joe. And uh, we're still continuing our journey down towards the Crick, although we've done the vlog about the uh, Crick yeah. Boat Show. This is uh, the one just before the show. So, uh, so when we last left you, we were moored up at the Wilford Junction. <laughs> yeah, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we told you that story. So what did we get up to after that? Well, Ingrid? we decided to move yeah. to Bridge 26 to get a better internet signal, but yep. we didn't. But hey ho, we got on with polishing yeah. the boat, still ready for Crick. Yeah, we carried on doing a bit more polishing um, and getting yeah. her ready. And then, um, we then moved the boat down. We had a few days to spare and Alan was very good and got us a couple of moorings in uh, Yelvertoff Marina. So yes. we then moved on down to Yelvertoff Marina and spent a few days in there. Well, speaking of Alan, I actually tried, um, I call it Jasmine's chicken now. The recipe that <laughs> Jasmine did with the, with the chicken and the potatoes. Yes. Um, I tried that out and it's absolutely wonderful. It, so it's become a regular meal for us now. Yeah, thank so you. Thank you, Jasmine. Jasmine. We thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're interested, I'll leave a link to that particular vlog down in, yeah. the, in, in the description because it's well worth trying. It's, it's so easy, easy to, to do. Make. And yeah. I did it on a really hot day and I thought, she said, get it all prepared. Preparation is the, the, key. the key. So I prepared it all early morning and all I had to do was just put it in the oven yeah. for an hour and it was gorgeous. I mean, we didn't film any of that because no. uh, J Jasmine, Jasmine did a, it. <laughs> and Alan have already done it. So if you want to know the recipe for that, then yeah. hop along to uh, My Narrowboat Venture. And as I say, I'll put a link down the bottom for you for it because yeah. it is absolutely super meal. So there we go. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. In this episode, we continue our journey south towards the Crick Boat Show. We leave the Welford Junction moorings and we continue down the Grand Union Canal until we arrive at Bridge 26. After a couple of days of polishing Amy Jo, we then carried on our journey ending up at Yelvertoft Marina. Another cracking morning, albeit a little bit breezy this morning. Um, we're a bit late in leaving this morning. Ian left a couple of hours ago and he's found a boring further down the line. We have been uh, doing a few little paint touch-up jobs on the gunnels and doing a little bit of polishing while we wait for the paint to dry. Fortunately, the paint we use is fairly quick drying, so we're okay to start moving now. We've just got underway. As you can hear, it's quite windy. So uh, enjoy the cruise, folks. Shortly after starting off, we came across Gregory's Girl. This is boat vloggers Amy and Wes on Boat Time. I'll leave a link down below for their uh, YouTube channel. And it was great to meet up with them. Oh, how does it work? Sorry. Yay. Well, send our regards to Wes. We'll see you later, mate. <laughs>
travelling along this stretch of canal brings back a lot of memories. Uh, those of you who have followed our journey from the day we decided to get a narrowboat will know that Amy Jo was actually launched at Crick. And we spent six months moored in Crick and uh, our very first ever weekend away on Amy Jo was on to this stretch of water to the Welford Arm Junction which is we've just left this morning and we <laughs> we tried to wind the boat there and it was a balmy calm day there wasn't a breath of wind and we didn't get it right we got the boat wedged across the entrance to the Welford Arm and in those days we didn't have a pole we didn't have a stick or anything like that so bless her Chris got a broom and tried to push the bow off with the broom and broke it <laughs> we did eventually get the boat off and we did eventually get moored up where we did the mooring we've just left this morning so lovely memories of uh, trying to get used to uh, Amy Jo they were the days <laughs> but the weird thing is I don't remember any of this stretch of canal yet we've been up and down we had been up and down it several times and it just I don't remember it so it's really nice to revisit again because I know that I've forgotten all about it. Yet, yeah, with stunning views like this, how can you forget them? I mean, it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, I don't remember any of this. Just up ahead, the busy road there is the A14. It's a major road that goes from uh, Lowestoft into the Midlands hence why there's lots of lorries there going to the uh, ferries to Europe we'll be going under it in a minute and we're just coming up to bridge 30 which is uh, the original bridge before the A14 was built but we know Ian and Carol on Morning Star are moored around about bridge 26 so four more bridges and we'll be joining them for the afternoon rather be up there on the busy A14. There's going to be no here. traffic going past now. No. <laughs> but I seem to remember Alan took this exact shot when he was up here the other week. So there you go. <laughs> and it looks like there's no traffic on the bridge but believe me there's loads. You can hear it. <laughs> Alan on my narrowboat venture vlogged about these the other day. New glamping pods. And like he nice. said, these even have hot tub fire. We just uh, moved our moorings to try it and seek out a better internet signal. The net effect is we've still got a rubbish internet signal but now the mooring isn't as good as the one we were on. The upside of course is just down the end there before the bend was where we last moored Amy Jo that weekend we came to the Welford Arm and it's overgrown since then but I stood on that bridge up there and took a photo. We've had a couple of days rest while we wait to get on our mooring at Crick. So Chris and I have been beavering away the last couple of days, giving Amy Jo's uh, cabin a damn good polish. And uh, I'm really pleased with the way it's come out. It's, uh, it's scrubbed up rather nicely. Just got the other side to do now. But to give you an idea of the shine, you can see smudge in the folk reflection in the paintwork, look at that. <laughs> Two smudges. An 
another early start for us this morning and we've had a couple of days rest so we don't mind getting up early we're uh, pulling into Yelvertoft Marina for a couple of nights while we wait our time so that we can get on the mooring at uh, Crick um, Alan of my narrowboat venture has very kindly managed to get us a couple of moorings in Yelvertoft for a few nights so we're going to go and see him and uh, so we've just left seven o'clock in the morning we need to be there before nine o'clock because the guy that runs the marina has got a lot of uh, boats coming in and out on their slipway and he wants us in and sorted before he goes and does that so it's only a short run about an hour and then we'll be at Yelvertoft so uh, a bit chilly this morning hence the jumper and uh, a bit cloudy too rain forecast later so Good job we're going to be in the marina, really. Yeah. Now this one bit, I do remember. This is a lovely cottage here. And... Uh, we stopped here on the water point just over there for the first time to fill only Joe up. But the next bridge, which is just coming into view, as far as I'm concerned, is a very famous bridge because Alan on uh, My Narrowboat Venture quite often mentions it. This is Skew Bridge. So it's a real privilege to be going underneath this. been wondering why he's not seen much of the swans in the marina at Yelvertoft. Well there's your answer Alan, they're out on the cut. Taking the kids for a holiday I guess. I've got my breath back. Bit of a climb up from the uh, marina, but there's a superb field up here just for the dog run. And Smudge is absolutely making the most of it. He's out there somewhere. There he is, right in the middle of the screen. He's lapping it up up here. There's a super view of the marina from up here. This is Yelvertoff Marina, by the way. And that's the office in the middle there and the facilities. And Amy Joe is moored up just down by that white van, literally behind that tree. And we follow Alan on My Narrowboat Ventures. And we've quite often seen these videos of the marina where he's based here at Yelvertoft. And it seems so strange to be stood here, actually seeing the sights from his video. Shaky, shaky, shaky. <laughs> well, that's it, folks, for this one. It's um, 
a little bit more nondescript than some of our uh, vlogs, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Mm. But we had a lovely time in Yelvertoft. Alan was a uh, made us more than welcome in there, as did the marina manager, didn't he? Yeah, you had, we had coffee and cakes in their little. It's not a coffee place, is it? It's, it's a the lounge for lounge the Moros, which, yeah, really which was nice. really nice. And we met Kevin and Linda Trot on Narrabah Iris. In fact, we <laughs> walked up right alongside yeah. them and then discovered they follow us <laughs> so thank you for that so thank you for that linda and uh, kevin. kevin yep we appreciate that yeah. so that's yeah. really it for this one and um it'll be the same time next week of course so thank you very much for watching and um do stay safe do take care look after your loved ones as alan would say because i, I quite yes. like saying that <laughs> and i mean it do take care of your loved ones because there's a lot of this COVID coming back yeah. again and uh, as you know poor Ian and Carol had it a while back and uh, it could catch any of us so yeah. do take care won't you so we'll say <laughs> bye for now and we'll catch you next time on Life on Board Amy Joe. Bye! bye.